Hello there, are you looking for a simple Java project to practice and improve your Java programming skills? In this tutorial I will show you how you can create an ATM Java desktop application like the one that you can see here. We are gonna build the application gradually using Java and JavaFX. We will start creating the user interface using JavaFX and FXML which basically means that we will load our user interface from an XML file. Then we will add code to each of the buttons and other components of the user interface until we have a working ATM machine. Here is how our ATM machine is going to work. Initially, it will display a welcome message requesting the user to enter its second ID. So I will insert a valid account ID, which is going to be 1111. So that's going to be my account ID. And then I will click OK. And that will take me to the menu with two options. The option number one is show the balance. And then option number two is cash withdrawal. So I'm going to press one to see the balance. And then the ATM will show the balance, which in this case is thousand pounds. So I will press OK to go back to the menu. And then I will press option two, withdrawal. And the machine will request the amount. So let's say hundred pounds. And then I will press OK. And the machine will display the money and then ask me if I want to go back to the menu. So this is the application that we are going to build from scratch in this tutorial. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. First part is going to be creating the user interface. So first, I'm going to need to generate the project. So I'm going to go to the terminal and use the following Maven command. In case you don't know Maven, it's basically a tool to generate the project structure, also to manage dependencies, and it can also be used and helpful for generating executables and many other stuff. In this case, we are going to use it to generate the project structure. So I will do Maven archetype generate and then a bunch of parameters. All you need to change here is the group ID and the artifact ID, which is basically the project name. In this case, the artifact name will be ATM-Machine. Then I will move to the directory that was just created. So I will do CD and then the folder. And then I will do Maven Clean Install. So this will download all the dependencies necessary for the project. Perfect. So now we will open the project with IntelliJ and we are going to add another dependency, which is called FXML. And this will help us to create interface using XML. So I will open the pom.xml file, which is basically the project descriptor with the project configuration and in the dependencies section I will add the javafx-fxml dependency and then I'm going to open the file module-info.java and I will add here the fxml dependency as well and now I will open the terminal and I will run maven clean install so this will download the new dependency and also in my case because I'm going to use Java version 11 I'm going to open the file and then project structure and I'm going to go to project and then you project SDK you need to make sure that you are using Java 11 perfect so our project is generating now and configured to use FXML so let's see how to create the user interface. I have already designed the interface using the tool Scene Builder, and I have generated the XML file that I will be using in this tutorial. In case you don't know what the Scene Builder tool is, 
I left the link in the description so you can check it out and you can download it. And also there is a link in the description from where you can copy the XML. So I will open the link and then copy the XML and then create a file that I'm going to call atm.fxml and then paste the XML into the file. Before we load the file into our application, let's see an overview of what the file actually contains. It's going to have a test area component with ID display test area. And this component is going to be used to display the menu and also to give instructions to the user. Then we will have all buttons to insert the numbers, which are going to have IDs 0 button, 1 button, 2 button, and so on, up to 9 button. Then we will have 3 more buttons, the OK button, which ID is going to be OK button, then the clear button, and then the cancel button with ID cancel button. And that is just to keep things as simple as possible. And the last component is going to be an image view and the ID will be cast image view. Perfect. So those are the important components in our interface. The FXML file also contains layout components like VBOX and HBOX, but we don't need to worry about those for now. All right. So let's load the file into our application. So I will go to the app class and I will create a file. So I will say new file and then the file path of our fxml file. So to get the path I'm gonna right click on the fxml file and then click on copy path. And I will copy that and then call to uri and to url. So this will return a URL. And then I will load the file doing fxmlloader.load and pass the file. This will return a parent type, which I'm going to call root. And this is going to be the view containing all components inside the fxml file. Now we need to add this view to our application window which is the state. So to do so, I will do state.setScene, then new scene, and then I will pass the view, which is root. And this will add the view to the window. So now we can do state.unshow. There is a small thing we need to do before running the app. Our FXML has an image view component inside and this component need an image. So let's open the FXML and the image view component is right here. So I will add the attribute URL and then I need to pass the location of the image. I have added the link in the description to download the images. So I'm going to download one of the images with the empty slot. So I will open the link and then click in download. So now I'm going to create a folder where I will save the image. So I'm going to call the folder resources and it's going to be inside the main folder. And then I will place the image there. Okay, so now that we have the image file, let's go back to the fxml file and I will add the location of the image. So I'm going to say add and here we are going to pass a relative location to the fxml file. So that means that we are going to go back to directories up to the main folder and then go to the resources and then the file name which is going to be atm -mt dot, and then the extension which is png all right so that's all we need to do to create the interface 
So let's run this and see if it works. And amazing, that's working. So now the user interface is loading from the FXML file. In the next video, I will create an activity diagram explaining how the application should work and we will follow this diagram and add different listeners to the buttons to get the application fully working. I really hope this tutorial was useful and I will see you in the next one.